Hey, Miss Velvy. You want something? I have a little piece of tab for you. You gotta come get it. Good girl. Sorry, Gracie, I didn't bring over another piece. That was silly of me. I didn't see you over here at first. I can go get you a piece. My cutie little Velvy. I know, you think, how unfair, Mommy, where's mine? Reesey, I got your piece. Reesey, come here, Reesey Bear. Come here. Come here, Reesey Bear. I was talking to you. There you go, there's your piece. Hey, piggy people. So I just wanted to do an update video. So right now I just finished uh, tidying up the pigs this morning. So there is a barrier. Uh, apple and pecan are over here while everybody's having their veggies. And then I'll get their cage all set back to normal. So everybody is doing well. A lot of people were asking, which is so nice, about how Apple is doing. So Apple has been staying like extremely stable. She does still have her bum shaved, which I'm going to try to keep as shaved nicely as possible as I can. It's really hard to do. Um, the vet did a great job and I find it really hard to get it looking nice on my own. Well, with my husband holding her. It's really hard to get a little bum and legs and stuff shaved, but trying my best. So, she's been pooping great. She has a great appetite. She's been sleeping comfortable. She's a little bit incontinent, which I think is just going to be permanent due to those stones that got embedded high up in her urethra so there's nothing we can do about that. Her incontinence is very mild, it's just a couple little drips of pee every now and again. So what I've been doing is putting a barrier on her lady parts so that she's not staying constantly wet because if I don't put anything down there she looks very sore. As you guys can imagine staying constantly wet where she shouldn't be is not comfortable. So every morning and every night I just put a little layer. Um, right now I'm using the F&M ointment from Gorgeous Guineas. But I do have some perfect paws on the way. So there's um, vegetable oil. I believe she said that. I asked the lady. I believe it was like vegetable oil, calendula, and a couple other ingredients. Just safe, natural stuff that's going to make a water resistant barrier and keep her happy. The F&M ointment has similar ingredients and some extra ones, and it's been doing a great job for the time being. That's the little cream that I use on Velvet's feet. So, overall, I'm very happy with how Apple's doing. So, every morning and every night, she still gets Medicam, Tramadol for pain. And then I feed her recovery food to make sure she has lots of stuff in her tummy. And I also give her some of the herbal pills to help cleanse her kidneys and whatnot. So we're at about a month since she's been diagnosed, which is great. It's a lot better than I thought we were going to do. So I think maybe at about two months I might ask my vet if this is an appropriate time to get another x-ray to see how things are going. Because like I don't know what to expect if the herbal pills could possibly act do anything for her stone. But if it does, I want to know because I don't want to be pumping her full of pain meds if, in fact, that stone has broken up or is moving or who knows what. So anyway, it would be nice to have a little update at around two months if possible. We'll see what my vet suggests. And if, like, some miracle that stone does break up or get smaller and does get to move out, I think obviously I'll just be giving her the herbal pills for the rest of her life just to, you know, hopefully ward off any stones. But we'll see. So far I just take it day by day and if she's happy, I'm happy. So where's everybody else? Um, the sisters are doing excellent in their cage. They're getting along really well. It's so nice that there's no squabbles. Here, Annabelle. There's Sudie. Uh, they're doing amazing, which is great. Angus and Autumn are doing well. Now, Angus had some soft poops after I moved him over here. He's a really sensitive little fellow. 
so he was kind of nervous with having moved spots so then any stress for him gives him soft poops or like he'll almost like stop pooping because his digestive gets messed up so I've been giving him recovery food with some probiotics and then I did give him some of pecan sisapride which is the stimulant for the hind gut to get moving so I'll probably do that for two or three days until he's really pooping well again because he is pooping now they're not 100% perfect shape but he is pooping since giving him that He's just so sensitive. I was actually really surprised that Autumn doesn't have a care being over here. I thought if anything out of the two that she was going to be more shy, but it's definitely Angus. So at least I could see him well over here to monitor and make sure he's doing okay. So hopefully it won't be too much longer before he feels more comfortable over here. I kind of feel guilty that he feels a bit weirded out being moved here, but he still has like the hide area and he's still by his mom and his aunt so I'm not sure why he's so freaked out but such is life with pigs sometimes they're just very weird um we do not go under there we do not we'll be moving back to the big cage soon and I'll get you a bed <laughs> are you stretching out? you're so sweet I gotta get her bum shaved a bit more. Got some hair coming in. I had bought little clippers. They're just about like this big. They're really small. Because they came with a set. It was four pets. One large set and the small ones said they were for like face and feet. So they do work. It's just you don't realize on their legs like how wrinkly their legs are. So it takes time to like pull the skin tight to get a clean line so you're not going to cut them. Yeah, not the most fun trying to shave a little piggy bum. So everyone else over here is doing really well. Um, hockey's going to be four in June, which is absolutely wild. So I've had him since he was just a little baby, four weeks old from the rescue. Reesey Bear's been doing well. Right, you? She's getting so friendly. She just reminds me of Pecan, of watching everything that you do, coming over to say hi. She's really getting comfortable with being pet. And Miss Velvet's doing well. So Velvet's the one with the hernia that I check every day. Not, well, like every day visually check. And on cage cleanings, I manually check. And thankfully nothing has changed. And Velvet's just come out of her shell so much lately. She's just hilarious to watch. She's so bold with the other piggies, not a care in the world. She's the pig that's like no boundaries. She comes right up to eat, like literally smack beside another pig, eating what they're eating, pushes piggies out of beds, away from water bottles. She just doesn't care and nobody seems to care. Even though Velvet's like the bottom pig of the totem pole, everybody puts up with her being a bulldozer. But I don't care because she is so happy and she always does happy little pops here and there. She lays out so comfy. It's really nice to see. And she's gotten so much more confident with being out on my lap, which is great because we do that twice a week minimum. And little Ray over there is doing super well also. So it's crazy to think that Raisin's going to be four in November. She always just seems like such a little baby pig to me. Because I had her just as a little teeny thing as well. And Butter Pecan is six and a half. Aren't you, sweetie? It'll be seven this year, which is crazy. The sisters are going to be four. Isn't that nuts? I'm going to have a lot of seniors all at the same time. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, you can leave um, comments down below. Any day that the piggies are all happy and healthy and doing well is a good day. Because if you have piggies, you know that things can always change quickly. So for right now, I'm happy with how everybody is doing. Bye-bye. You guys are released. Hey 
If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!